Hi and welcome to Nenezia, a kingdom with three kingdom titles in it that now is ready to take the next step. Our King Bragi, the sword of the Old Father, who is not yet legendary but who will become legendary very soon, will found a new empire. For that we need a thousand gold and eight thousand prestige and hold three kingdom titles. And we have finally done it. After losing everything again and again, we have gained it back through some strange inheritance and now we are ready to do it. A new empire. Well, that, that was kind of, well, it's the empire of Nenezia. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of an underwhelming thing, right? We we should have a fanfare or some great music coming, but no. Well then, I mean, we have the Empire of Nenezia now. And that's something very, very important. We have an open council position. Somehow we have two advisors now. So let's see whom we can take for this. Oh, actually... Who likes this a lot? <laughs> Rodolf, okay. okay, the chief of Gdov. Thorder, our herdman and friend, I think. Swain, oh, there's so many people who love us now. Well, let's actually go off the rank, though. Our son, Prince Taiki of Nanetia. The cruel, shy, ambitious, sturdy, scholarly theologian who wants to be on the council, I think it would be good to include him. He loves us already, but yeah, I mean... The Jarl of Norland? Jedwar, though? The High Chief of Kola or Berg or the Jarl of Kargopol? Also wants to be included. No, we want our son, of course, because, yeah, as you can see... Well, I mean, it's a toss-up. Jedward of Kola is also in our favor. Egil. Yeah, it's it's our son. We're taking our son in. That's the case. Here we go. And we can we can already look at some more laws we might have that we could go for. Let's see about that. Yes, the council can can go for more things. Ruler execution sovereignty. Ruler banishment sovereignty. Ruler imprisonment sovereignty. I mean, even if we have the guys in prison, then <coughs> the rest will be the rest will be fine, right? So imprisonment is very powerful. Let's see about that. How about the inheritance laws? Uh, the inheritance laws, I think, are fine. I really think we should vote on imprisonment. That would be something, something great to add to our powers as a ruler. Let's see. Most people love us. Our, our wife is still is still good. She's still good. Does she love us? No. I mean, we've increased the council power. Did we do that? Where have we increased it now? Ruling on imprisonment, my goodness. We have not increased the council power. Um, so she really doesn't love us anymore. One of the reasons is we're proud, we have vicious rumors. Hmm. She's a known murderer? My goodness. Yeah, I mean, that led to the, to the calming down of our, the kills. High Chief Bertil of Kola. Should we sway her again? I mean, she's the Empress of Nenezia now. 
Let's see. Let's see about that. I've, I, I have to admit I've never played an empire. I've always started with these small lands and, and see maybe we can get more, more titles or something. Well, we get one more commander. That's fine. Hrodulf, the chief of Gdov. He's, he's a kinslayer too, my goodness. That man is dangerous. Making him a good commander is, is definitely recommended. Here we go. We could create more titles, but not really. But there's something more we can do. We need a lot of money, as you can see here. And we have a lot of prisoners and both things combine very well. It's the old ways of our empire. The old ways. In the in the old times we have gained money only by this. Not by plundering, mind you. By actually capturing people. And that has always worked very fine. So let's see, will it work again? It probably will. Now, let's see about the imprisonment. That's going to be fine, hopefully. The wisdom and mercy are legendary. I accept paying your ransom for the safe return of Halston Carlson. All right, that's fine. Uh, how about Ingebjörg, the kid? And that too. How about Carl? Carl seems to be fine as well. The Lords of Nonetia have approved the institution of the ruler imprisonment sovereignty law. Very good. And we are an emperor now. Oh, that's an improvement I've never seen. Our heir is Jarl Bragi II of Svevjord, our grandson. He's married to the beautiful... Oh, he will be married to the beautiful Gudrun Andalf's dot here. The tribalist, she's shrewd, she's zealous, and she's honest. She, she seems to be kind of a good choice. Definitely. Not a bad choice, at least. Not a Dovre, though. But okay. Okay. Let's continue the things true Dovras do. Selling off. Oh, look, we have another color now. Well, that, that's, that's definitely nice because we can see ourselves better on the map now. That's truly very, very nice. Oh, there was something I wanted to do. Look at that. Look at that poor man. We can offer him vassalization now. I am a king. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I'm an emperor. Um, the question is, could we force vassalization? What, what would that lead to? We would lose 2,500 prestige for that. That's too much. Could claim Norik for Margarita of Norik. I mean, we could definitely do that. She's a Dover as well. This man has pacts and some troops. I think we'll, we'll send some people over. We'll see about the adventurer, though. Here we go. Accept paying your ransom. Yeah. That's nice. And uh, actually, yeah, you know, we are Vikings. Here we go. You know it all. Chief of Sudermanland. 
Seeks to fabricate a claim on the Daldom of Swiftyard. Well then, son, come on. Ah, <sighs> come on. You're the Marshal of Swiftyard. And you want to... Okay, all right. I mean, I said understand. On the other hand, I really don't understand. And if we if we manage to make the Great Stone Circle a reality, that would be great. News from China. Rumors of the military might of the Xi Empire is proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. After what seems like brief negotiations, Kagan Suru, the brute, has peacefully agreed to become another tributary state of the Middle Kingdom. Their couriers whisper that they can only hope the relationship between the Kagan and the chaste emperor be a fruitful one. It's really not making us happy that the Xia Empire is getting so much done here. Ulsa has inherited the county of Setakunta from Arni of Setakunta. Where are you? Well, the chiefess of Sudakunta. I'm really not sure what this means for us. But it seems like she can inherit. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I haven't seen that. Look at that. Wow, here. We have the dragons around this. Oh, that's very nice. What are the other prisoners? Can we get... No. Oh, Prince Taiki, our son, is a pitiful state. I've just been informed that the cause of his aches and fatigue is a case of the flu. Oh, that's very dangerous, my son. Thankfully he's sturdy, at least. And a maidservant lover. Well, the call for my court physician at once. Shy and ambitious. Uh, he's caught that probably from the, the many attempts at seduction, I guess. <sighs> Jarl of Norland. We are, we are his heir. He, he hasn't got any male children. Jarl Eskild has inherited from Jarl Kol of Jylland. Oh no. <coughs> And now, we would need another advisor. Let's see. Burger, the Jarl of Cargopol. Wants to be on the council. Really likes us. Is chaste, honest, and vomiting. Oh well, he'll, he'll hopefully survive. He's also a good leader. Mm. Eagle, the chief of Snoper. Now we have to integrate the dolls. It's definitely the thing. Burger is on it now, our kinsman. Who really likes us now? Very fine. So that is, is how it feels to be an emperor. Um, it's actually not that super great. But it makes a big difference for our heir, who will just get about everything. Well, at least I think he will. Well, not all kingdoms, but it's okay. To my leech, the righteous poet Bragi has escaped me that several of your commanders lack formal training in military tactics. I would like to offer my services by training Swain. Valdemar and Valdemar, the other, in the use of advanced battlefield, battlefield strategies. Oh, yes. Of course, he's a most generous offer. For this, I will owe him. Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, we're a... He's a battlefield legend. We are too, but... 
come on, that's that's something really great. And now, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about going for some some kind of crown or something to celebrate uh, as being an emperor. So let's see what is that. We have the crown of the sea, which is definitely quite good, but it has only quality two. So there could be an improvement in that. The guardian, that's something very nice. The noble scepter, that's of course also very nice. A masterful short sword, that's beautiful and uncomparable. The golden sword, mm, yeah, but the thing to go for is definitely a crown or something like a scepter, right? Or we could uh, look to write another book. We're still uninspired though. How long is that? Well, we have to live very long. Peace be with you. I demand that you grant me a position on your council in return for the favor you owe me. Uh, okay, yes. Um, he's the marshal now. Okay, fine. Arthur is fired. Oh my goodness, we have to. We have to explain this to our wife. She's not happy. Come on, you must understand. Let's sway her. A new commander. And we'll definitely use our wife for that. As she's the best and she needs to know that. She needs to know that. And negotiate with this Javlad guy. Nope. Nothing. You'll gain nothing. Absolutely nothing, Jablad. Could search for a smith, but first we would want some more wealth. And the empire of Nenezia. And actually, we don't want to focus on war anymore. There are other ways of doing something. How about that legendary gathering? No. According to Chancellor Bragi, the peasants of Java have started a delightful tradition where the peasantry from several villages meet up and dance, feast and pair up for future marriage. By promoting this tradition, Bragi believes the county will develop a strong local culture that will attract more peasants. Yeah, I like this. I will support it. I will support them in Jerva. I mean, he's a good marshal. There's this. I've always been a better at talking through my pen. Maybe the best way to show my good intentions towards Empress Asa is to dedicate her a poem. Oh, that's good. How fair she is. On her looks. I mean, she's groomed, so that could be an indicator. And she's gregarious. Write about her deeds, her accomplishments. Write about her realm. Not really. Yeah, let's, let's go for beauty, right? She's a beautiful shield maiden. Scrungles has formed an alliance with Harald the Spider. I don't like this. I don't like this, this man. How unfortunate. After all the time I spent writing it, Empress Asa did not even like my poem about her. What a sad little woman. Oh, goodness. She's bored by talking about her looks. My goodness. We must find another way. Nothing around that. The kingdom of Norderiki will be lost on succession to Prince Sturbjorn of Nen... Yeah, but it's still a part of the empire of Nenezia, right? 
Let's see about that. The Empire of Nanetsia has all the three all the three kingdoms here, and that's fine. Jarl Bragi the second should get married. And he he will. Bragi of Swivyod. Will you marry now? That your wife now come on. Ah. Uh, oh no. Oh no, our court physician has died. How about this man now? Forcing vassalization? No, no, no. Oh no, no, no. Awful vassalization, not really. Recru recruit a court physician. We could do that. As our court physician seems to have died, but maybe we have someone good in store here. Let's see. Oystein, the chief of Indiga, is pretty depressed. I don't know. I mean, he's a dutiful cleric. He's charitable, trusting, but he's also deceitful. He's temperate and diligent. Would we? I mean, I think we should. We should look for for someone else here. And we're an empire. We need maybe a renowned physician. Send messengers and scouts in all directions to scout the realm for skilled physicians that would be willing to take up residence in your court. Word should reach you shortly if they've managed to find a suitable candidate. Hopefully they will not bring back a quack solver. Hope I do not have to wait for long. And... Oh, we have so many prisoners. We have two threats. Gorm and Skjalk. And... Uh, the, yeah, the, the commander, the new commander of Nenezia would also be nice. Court Jester, not really. But a commander and a herdman. We need that. We need that. Harvard is an inspiring leader and a flanker. This man is a siege leader. A brilliant strategist. He's a little bit younger. So he could gain more experience. And he's of our family. So let's let's take him. Mm, we need another herdman and it could be our grandson. And we would be happy to have him there. So here we go. Oh my god, he's got a seduction focus. He's a dutiful cleric now. Militant, shrewd, gregarious and paranoid. Ah, <sighs> what has become of you, my grandson? Of course he wants a council position, but what position could we give you this man? He's not specialized in anything. He could be the next advisor though. That would be quite good. Young Gerrit has finished her education in the ways of intrigue. It seems she has learned all the basic skills required. Very good. She's a flamboyant schemer. And she has a severe illness. Can we release her from prison? Ransom her? We'll release her from prison. She has food poisoning. Okay, that's that's fine. She'll survive. Jarl Bragi of Swiftfield has declared the Swedish Finnish de jure war over Orland on King Bragi on F Finland. Hooray! Are you kidding me? One of your re scouts report of a pilgrim just arrived at Kulo. Yeah, that's now the, the renowned physician. I don't know. He's a pilgrim. He's indeed a renowned physician. He's a mystic. He's diligent, greedy, temperate, cynical and humble. He's Norse and ugly. He's a scholarly theologian. I mean, he's cynical, but...
but he's a theologian. There's this balance. But I don't think he's good enough for us. I'll change my mind. I will not require his services. No, no, no. I live my life as other men do, navigating its rocks and obstacles, doing my best to achieve success in my endeavors. So everything we do takes place in the light of Frey, and we must take care lest the influence of Fenrir comes into our lives. Ah. Indeed it is so. I should ponder this more deeply. Hmm, yeah. Let's go for this. We're thinking deeper and deeper. We could pick another ambition. See the realm prosper. Well, that's the only thing we can do, so we'll do it. And we should seek ourselves for a court physician. Let's do that now. Because we're not really happy with what we have. Erstein is, is okay, but... He's so depressed, we don't want to go for him any further. A depressed court physician is not a good choice. Um, we'll find some characters. We want them to be able to join the court. And there we are. Search the realm. And that leads us only to Freyr. So he's n that's not good. The Seer of Bath, she would join the realm. The Spy Master of Constantia. Paranoid, just, temperate, brave, ambitious, spiritualist. <coughs> A Bulgarian. I'm not really sure. Pictish. Norse. There, there we have him. Freya the Seer of Cargopol. A stressed patient, deceitful. Yeah, we don't want to have a, a, a deceitful court physician. That would be kind of odd, right? Mm. The seer of Bath. Left handed tribalist, shrewd, adventure, ambitious, patient, greedy, chaste, and trusting. And this man. He's also ambitious, brave, just paranoid. He's probably not too bad. Gr -gr. He also kind of likes us. For we have a blessed blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably the right man to invite to court. Grgur, -gr, the Bulgarian. Someone from a foreign land. I mean, we're an empire now. We have to do this. Join your court forthwith. We have Grgur. And we will... Award him the title of court physician. He's just good at that. And then... I think he also needs a wife. To enjoy life. We have a lot of people here she's chaste he's not chaste so that's not a not not a big hit probably um mm, no 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 gidea no just no gidea Emma dagos doctor ambitious greedy chaste paranoid Shrewd, underhanded rogue? I don't know. We don't want the, the wife of our court physician to be an underhanded rogue that is ambitious. Let us see. Gidia, 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 Gidia. Oh, we have so many Gidias who want to marry. Does that ever stop? Wow, they are all they wanted. My goodness. Yeah, we don't want him to go away already. I mean, we have we have her and we have her. She's content and gluttonous. 
the Italian culture in Muravera. That's outright odd. Mm. Maybe we could... Look for a debutante? No. Um, married? No. Join court? Yes. Gender? Women? Who want to marry? The inbid Glismod, not really. A possessed one, that's not a good idea. The spy master of Colm. Hmm. Gulbis, a sex, the Valdava in Murom. Gregarious, just, zealous, intricate web weaver. Come over, Valdava. That's fine. So, and she has got a couple of childs with her. And we now can hopefully give him the chance to marry her. Valdava. Here we go. How about Holmfried, by the way? She still loves us. Well, that's fine. Let's see if our wife will love us again someday. And we still need a crown or a scepter. And so... That's something that we'll do in the next episode. We'll call in... We'll call in a, a, a jewelsmith to, to make someone something for us that will represent the true power of Nanetsia. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other again in the next episode where we'll make something truly worthy for our emperor who's just turned 60. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Manuel Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends.